National Speed has helped me out so much in the past. You know, coming down here for their third annual Dino Day was a treat for me. I could talk cars. Wouldn't miss a day like this. Nice cars, rock music. It's all out at National Speed with the bone. The car behind me is a 2007 uh, Aston Martin V8 Vantage. National Speed's been working with me to tinker with the car. I produce more boost and therefore more horsepower. When you really look at the power to weight ratio in this thing, I mean, it's ridiculous. We installed this wheelie bar system on the back that keeps it from flipping over. We are here with Randy and I believe he just broke a record. 470 to the wheel, uh, new dyno record for National Speed. Makes it get to the track now. Just could be a challenge not to stand it on the bumper. Okay, and again, we thank y'all for coming out to uh, Coastal Plains Raceway Park Ford, this beautiful Sunday afternoon's program. Simply known as National Speed Fan Fest Appreciation Day, Driver Appreciation Day. Appreciate all y'all coming out. Again, um, nationalspeedinc.com. Go to the website, find out all the information on them. High performance speed shop. They are the Carolinas high performance uh, automotive shop, and of course, our proud sponsor. Today we're at the National Speed uh, Day at the uh, drag strip on Jacksonville, North Carolina. It's a 1999 uh, Chevrolet Corvette C5 Coupe. Uh, factory uh, had 345 horses. Right now it's pushing about 420, 430. The 2008 uh, Corvette, it's uh, just the base model. A few good runs today. I run a 12.6, 109. So, so he's running there with the new ones and spanking some of the new ones. Well, admittedly, the first two times I was getting up there in speed, and I thought, oh, I'm going too fast. <laughs> I've done it some more, and uh, it's kind of exhilarating. From the last time we were here, he wouldn't race, and uh, he went and bought a helmet. And this time, we got him on the track. He got a good run, a 13 flat. Not bad. Oh, he got a 12, oh, he got a 12, he got, he got a 12, seven also. Poor guy, poor guy, let him have some credit. <laughs> uh, well, my experience with the National Speed has uh, been that uh, they're supportive of a local Corvette club. We've had uh, Corvette shows, and National Speed always comes out there and supports it. I recommend anybody to go there if they want to get uh, modifications under their car. I started working on this car about a year ago. Um, we uh, got together with uh, some people and got it to um, kind of where it is now. It was a street car that we kind of converted into a you know, race car on the deal. Um, and it, it's come a long way since we first started out with it. The feeling you get in the car, it can be nervous a little bit. Everything is gone except for the finish line. You don't see the, the crowd, the, the car in the other lane coming up on you so quick. But as soon as that, uh, you get it bare and do the burnout, you just want to see the finish line and concentrate on it keeping the car in the middle of the track and back up and get the car staged up and have the boost ready. Um, it's uh, pretty thrilling. Appreciation Day it was a, a great event. Um, we had a lot of customers out. The track was really prepped well. Hats off to Coastal Plains for that. We learned a lot with the car and trying to get it to uh, to get our four-second goal again with 508 at 147 on the six-pass with the new turbo. We're really excited about that. Appreciate everybody for coming out. Thank you for your support and National Speed for being on board this 2011 season for Coastal Plains Raceway Park.